with a full jump. You want to pace yourself. We're just getting warmed up, baby. Let's go. Last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two. Next, we're gonna be emphasizing on our shoulders with some pipe push-ups. So we're gonna get into a push-up position, body completely straight, pipe up from your hips, walk all the way up on your tiptoes, bring the crown of your head down, all the way back up. Make sure you're on your tiptoes. It's gonna put more body weight onto your shoulders. You don't have to rush this. You wanna give it a quality contraction, squeeze, Squeeze the grip on the ground, breathe, squeeze your core. Last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, last one. All right. keep building our shoulders with the next exercise 90 degree toe taps get into push-up position Put your hands out a bit lean forward come down flat from this position you lift one leg up and alternate if you can't do this just hold this position everyone else lean as forward as you can try to get your feet off the ground as you alternate Last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo. But now with this next exercise, we're going to be emphasizing on our tricep with tricep extensions. You want your hands in front, passing your head. Then you want to just lower down. And if you're not strong enough to come back up, you can always lower down, come up with one side, come up with the other side, lower down, and alternate. Now the closest your hands are to your body, the more resistance it's going to have, the harder this move is going to become. It's also good to switch up positions, bring them closer. Keep that core tight, perfect push-up position from your shoulders to the tip of your toes. Last 10 seconds. 
five, four, three, two, and. Guys, we're going to continue to compound on our chest, triceps, and our shoulders, as well as our core with single leg push-ups. To get into our single leg push-ups, you can either put one foot on top, or you can put one foot in the air. This is going to be a little more difficult. 22 seconds each foot. And for my beginners following along, you can always do elevated push-ups or even just normal push-ups. Three, two, and one. Switch. You don't need to rush this. Give it quality contractions. Last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Just have one more exercise emphasizing on our triceps, lower chest, and your shoulders with bench dips. So you can take a chair, put it into the wall, come all the way down, all the way back up, drive your hips up with every single rep. Now, of course, if this is too difficult, you can always bring your legs in. This is gonna relieve a lot of the resistance. I would switch out the angle, hold the grip. Always like to change up the grips. Last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, last one. We're gonna start emphasizing on our back with some body rows. So we're gonna bring our two chairs together, bend your legs, row up and down, nice and controlled. Really feel the contraction. Squeeze your back. Work the negative as well. Come up, squeeze, really work that negative. Come up, squeeze, work the negative. Nice tempo. This is gonna create more time on attention, get you closer to hypertrophy, building more muscle. Last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. side, tuck your legs in, 
Extend all the way up. Squeeze your glutes and your lower back. Look up too, that'll help. Just keep going. Really feel that squeeze. Work on the quality contraction. It's the most important part. Don't stop. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, and one. So the next exercise we're gonna get into is gonna be side lunges, emphasizing on our glutes, hamstrings, quads, and our calves. You wanna start with a big chest, feet shoulder width apart, hands on your head, side, come right back up. Starting on one side, 22 seconds, then we're gonna switch. You can also just not touch if you want, just explode. Come up, three, two, Last one, go to the other side, back up. Last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Everybody else, I want you to get explosive with it. 22 seconds each leg. Three, two, last one. All right, switch. Pace yourself. Last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, last one. Whew. Finish off our legs with some good old fashioned squats. For 45 seconds straight, we're gonna keep the time under tension. Come down to a full squat, back up. focus more than halfway there last 10 seconds five four three two last one
We're starting with one hand first. After 22 seconds, we're gonna switch to our left hand. Squeeze the ground. Always have a nice solid grip on the ground. Keep your core tight. Get ready to switch. Switch. Regulate your breathing. Last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. feet together, jump in, and then jump out. If you can't jump in that high, you can always do little jumps in and out. But I want you to go at your own pace. Whatever you can do, go for it. Just don't stop. Almost there. Squeeze your abs every time you jump in. Have a solid grip on the ground. Last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Whoo! Breathe. Focus. We just have one more move after this. We made it this far. I want you to give it everything you got. Keep your core tight. Don't let your body droop. Squeeze every muscle. Last 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Touch one side, touch the other side. For my beginners, you can go ahead and bend your knees. Everybody else, I want you to keep your legs straight. It's gonna add more resistance. Really give it a twist so that you're working your obliques. Stay strong, don't give up. This is the last one, go hard. Here we go. This is it. 10, nine, everything you got. Seven, six, twist. Five, four, three, two, and one. Whoo!
that was definitely a full body killer in just 15 minutes with just two chairs you can find absolutely anywhere working out getting shredded and building muscle does not have to be that complicated <laughs> more of my videos click here to be notified when i release a new video click here to subscribe to my channel